and I'm gonna do this for the next few days. All right, let's go give Slinky some food. Come here, Slinky. Oh, yeah, very good. That's the one with the medication right there. Oh, what's going on, everyone? Now, let me tell you, Slinky has had quite the day. He had to take a trip to the vet. And the reason I brought him to the vet was because on an Instagram Live that I did just a few days ago, you would have noticed me letting Slinky walk around the pond and he was kind of exploring, but I noticed that he was having a hard time pooping. He was kind of making a jerking motion and then I noticed uh, what I believed was the beginnings of a prolapse. He was really straining, he was giving himself one heck of a hemorrhoid. And so I got nervous and I wanted to make sure that Slinky was okay. So what I did was I brought him to my good old buddy, Mike Gillen, the vet at PGA Animal Clinic, and he went ahead and he did a x-ray of Slinky. It's the first step in making sure that everything is moving along in the intestines and uh, making sure there's no foreign bodies. Uh, the thing is, is that when we did the uh, x-ray, I got nervous because both myself and the vet tech, we noticed what looked like foreign bodies and I was so nervous until I realized that Slinky ate three red foot eggs that were cracked that I dug out of the ground. Luckily, it was the eggshells in there. Everything else seems to be okay. So we're gonna be administering some uh, medication to him, but very important to keep an eye on your animals and make sure they're behaving normally. And Slinky has been behaving normally with the exception of that little, strain. He is definitely not happy about being stuck in here and I don't blame him, but he's such an awesome lizard and he did such a good job at the vet. So I am pleased for that. And that definitely means all the difference when you're trying to get your animals looked at Come on, Bubba. Come on. We're gonna go ahead and get him back in, get him back in his house. And then I'll get to work with the other stuff. Hey, Bubba. Come on. That's a good boy. You're home. You're home, man. This lizard, man, he gave me a fright. I thought I forgot all about, all about those eggs I gave him yesterday. What a knucklehead I am. Oh, thank goodness. And I'm so glad I remembered it. And that even the doc uh, is just a very intelligent guy. And he almost said they looked like eggshells. So very good. All right, we're gonna let him do his thing. And what I now need to, do, need to do is I need to get some rodents and we're gonna thaw them out or chicks, whatever I have available. And uh, we're gonna let them thaw out. And then we're gonna inject it with the medication, feed Slinky. And this is what we have to do for our animals. So there's the bucket the rodents will go in, but let's see what we got here. What do I got? Oh boy, I think it's only chicks today. No, good. I do have rodents. I do have some small mice, uh, small rats rather. So we're gonna go ahead and defrost these and I guess we'll feed some other animals while we're at it. So. Um, the cool thing is, is because this hose has been in the sun all day, let's just move this, this water is going to be blazing hot. So this is going to be good stuff to thaw out these rodents. It's really hot right now. All right, guys, I'm going to let this thaw and uh, I'll get back with you. See ya. Okay, so here's the solution. And we're going to draw it up right into the syringe right here. We're going to get eight milliliters of it. So let's see. All right. Hey, look at that. Pretty close. Eight milliliters. And this is basically like a laxative. It's going to help him with his, with the digestion and just make sure he stays regular. Kind of a little bit of a preventative medicine. So now what I want to do is I'm going to inject it into a rodent. And uh, some of you may think this is cruel, but this is how they eat. So I'm going to go ahead and just put it under the skin and just pump this 
road in full of this solution. Oh, and it is a little bit hard to do through the gauge needle I have. Almost done. And I'm gonna do this for the next few days. Here we go. All right. Let's go give Slinky some food. All right, so I have uh, injected the medication into this uh, rat and we've got three other rats for him to eat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back inside and we're gonna feed him. And the key is guys, is since he's had such an eventful day, I wanna make sure that he's still uh, hungry and he's still good old slinky. It seems like he's adjusted well uh, to going to the vet and coming back. He's such a good lizard and he is very used to me. And he was a very good boy on this little endeavor, this little kind of adventure we went on, not endeavor, but uh, here it is. Come here, slinky. Oh, yeah, there you go. That's the one with the medication right there. Get that right down the hatch. Oh, good boy. So now we know that he's definitely taking the medication and I'm gonna be feeding him tomorrow. I'm also gonna feed him tomorrow. Look, 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 look. There you go, buddy. He loves to do that little head shake. There's another one. So, like I said, this medication is basically a laxative. It's gonna help kind of smooth things along. Uh, Dr. Gillen probed him in the cloaca um, and everything was working. It felt smooth in there. Like I said, we found out that he had swallowed, I remembered rather, that he had swallowed eggshells and uh, so they aren't foreign bodies. He's such a good lizard. So the key is when you notice anything wrong with your animals or anything out of the ordinary, you're gonna not wanna guess. You wanna make sure that it was uh, not a foreign body and that's what I did. I, I'm, I'm real happy, so hopefully uh, that will be an isolated incident. I'm gonna keep an eye on Slinky and make sure that he's eating and moving well. When an animal becomes impacted, what you'll notice is the animal will start to get sluggish. Uh, they won't move around. They may still eat, uh, but what you'll notice is they may start to display uh, skinny hips. If it's a lizard, uh, if it's a tortoise, you wanna look at the, the tone on the skull uh, where the jaw muscles are. That's very important. If it starts to sink in, you know this animal is not getting the nutrition it needs. Um, so that's very important. I like to help him down because I don't like him dropping off. Um, because what'll happen with an impaction is the animal still gets hungry, but it is not getting any nutrients. Um, and pretty soon what'll happen is the animal's gonna then be poisoned because waste is supposed to be expelled, as you guys know. And if you keep it in your body, too long you'll get toxic so you don't want uh, that to happen so the key is when you notice anything weird with your animals get them to a vet if you're not comfortable diagnosing the problem yourself um, I can't stress that enough guys these animals deserve veterinary care uh, hopefully you guys have a plan to uh, get the animals to the vet to make sure that they're healthy and happy but Slinky's doing good he's walking around normal he's been walking around all day he had a very busy day, which is interesting. So now that I've got that rat in there with eight milliliters of that lactulose, uh, I feel pretty good about that. And uh, we'll do it again tomorrow, just to make sure that we get it in a system and that it basically coats his intestines and helps him maybe expel something if he's having a hard time. The other thing I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna have to keep an eye on him so I can see him poop. Uh, so I'm going to be spending more time in here with Slinky, just making sure that he does go to the bathroom and that we don't have any issues. But you can see he's moving around without any problems. Uh, there's nothing strange about the way he's moving, which is good. That's another telltale sign that they're having some kind of gastric intestinal distress as if they're bloated or they can't move or, you know, they're walking funny. So very important you keep an eye on it. It's also one of the more common problems that I've come across is the animals sometimes getting impacted. Maybe they get a little too much sand on their food. Uh, perhaps they swallowed something that they shouldn't have. Um, it's something that you gotta learn to keep an eye on. But Slinky is one of my dearest friends here at the camp. I love him so much. Uh, he's just 
I guess you guys love him as well. He's become something of an icon here on the channel. And uh, I don't know what I'd do without Slinky. So it's very important that we keep this guy all lubricated and working well. I guess that's the term, you know, the body's machine and we got to make sure that his is working perfectly. So I'm really excited about uh, having the support that I have from guys like Dr. Gillen and PJ Animal Clinic. They're really, really interested in what I do here and uh, they are very good to me. So I would suggest all of you out there, find a good qualified exotic animal veterinarian for your reptiles. Um, and it would be something that will be and prove invaluable to your reptile keeping endeavors. And uh, my gosh, this lizard is just tremendous. We love him. It's good old Slinky, man. I, I just enjoy hanging out with him. He has given me so many hours of interaction and um, I wouldn't say amusement, but I'd say he's just fascinates me. I love watching him move and I love the fact that he has allowed me to be his friend. Uh, when an animal trusts you, it's just incredible. So here he is swimming around in his little pond that we are going to get worked on. Trust me, there is going to be some cool work going with Slinky's Pond, guys. So every day the water comes on and overflows and uh, filters out. So he's got clean water every single day. And then I also do drain this out uh, once every week to make sure that it's clean. So look at him go, very active. That's a good sign, really good appetite. Four rodents he's eaten, one of them was a little with a little special medicine for him so i'll do this again tomorrow and uh, i will keep you guys updated on what's going on with slinky and don't forget we have some more cool monitors coming soon kevin from nerd is sending us a black dragon so slinky's gonna have another little buddy and hopefully it'll be a male black dragon so one day it'll get as big as slinks right here and we'll have some really cool animals to learn and interact with in the future very cool stuff. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, learning about what to do when your monitor lizard has a turd that he just can't pass. Uh, again, to be honest, I'm not sure uh, that was even the case. It could have just been uh, a little bit of a strain and he worked through it because I haven't noticed anything else. But Slinky is looking just fantastic. And gosh, this guy is always hungry and never full. But since he's going to get a rodent tomorrow and a rodent the next day with uh, some of that medication, I don't want to overfeed him today. Very good stuff. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you guys really enjoy what we're doing here at the camp and you want to see and interact some more, head on over to patreon.com where you can become a Patreon member. Uh, it's patreon.com slash Camp Cannon, where you can see more footage and interact with me even more right there. Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate all your help. And uh, thanks again. Slinky says, see you later.